You may think that sustainable home decor only goes with certain decor styles. Bohemian with all those baskets and plants, rustic with all of those old secondhand things, and of course, minimalism, because it's like minimal. But I wanna show you that you can actually green any decor style, and I'm gonna use the examples of modern glam, industrial, and the opposite of minimalism, maximalism. Hello everyone, Larissa here, and this video comes to you via Out of Houses and Trees, where I vlog about sustainable design, sustainable living, sustainable everything. I recently redesigned of Houses and Trees, and I've got sustainable design, sustainable living, I've got sustainable products, I even have e-design. If you're wondering what e-design is, how it works, you can head on over there and watch my super quick video. You can also learn a little bit more about what your own personal decor style is. While you're over there, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Let's be tree huggers together. Okay, so this is an interesting video for me because personally, my decor style definitely leans more towards the rustic, minimal, maybe a little bit of farmhouse. All of these styles do lend themselves very nicely to eco-friendly decor. Items that are made out of natural materials, items that are made out of recycled materials, items that are vintage or secondhand. But actually, I believe that you can green any decor style, that you can use environmentally conscious materials and furniture and decor, and that you can make that space not really look eco-friendly, but still be eco-friendly. So I've decided to choose three different decor styles that really don't seem to go with that sort of tree hugger, sort of hippie style that everyone thinks of when it comes to eco-friendly decor. All you have to do is just take these three tips that I'm gonna give you and apply them to your spaces and your spaces will be so much more green, so much more conscious, so much more unique and special because you're gonna handpick everything out individually. Or if you don't like handpicking things out individually, I did it for you. So let's take a look at what those rooms are gonna look like. All right, first we have modern glam. I wanted to take this style of room and really juxtapose it with handmade items. I think when you think handmade, you think of like, you know, things made out of reclaimed barn wood or like things that are like crocheted or like hand woven baskets, stuff that goes really well with those decor styles that I had mentioned before, like rustic and farmhouse and boho. But I was able to find all handmade items from Etsy, which is a handmade and vintage marketplace for this modern glam space. It's very posh, it's very luxurious. It's quite girly, it's got lots of pinks and gold, some glitter, um, black and white photos. So first we have this really beautiful starburst gold light chandelier um, that I think really gives the room that kind of glamorous um, and sort of like eye-catching moment. We got this pink velvety, really plush chair with the gold legs and then another thing with gold legs because you have to have gold in a modern glam space and it's got this beautiful quartzite top. There's also this really beautiful uh, rug from a company that sells on Etsy called Berberology. I had to include this black and white photo of Coco Chanel. I'm not super into fashion but I obviously know who Coco Chanel is and I know that she is just iconic. I thought that this uh, vase with the gold bottom was really pretty. I was also able to find a faux sheepskin throw. It gives that really nice texture and plushness to uh, modern glam space. Um, and it's faux because it is still made out of sheep's wool, but sheep's skin traditionally is actually the sheep is skinned. So then you have the wool attached to the sheep's skin. But this is just um, shaved and it even says on the Etsy page for this company that their sheep that they get this fur from is happily roaming through the hills um, where they live and so I thought that was really nice. And then I wanted to include a really glitzy glittery piece of art. This is like the opposite of my art style um, but for a room like this I think it really fits. And then I wanted to add in a really soft pretty pink pillow just because you know glam pink why not maximalism. It's like really busy, really bright. There's like colors and pictures everywhere. For me, initially I was like, oh my God. But I actually was able to pull together a space I actually really love. If I walked into someone's house and they were decorated in that manner, I would not be like, I would be like, oh wow, this is a really cool room, even if it's not necessarily my style. Maximalist rooms that you see have lots of sort of vintagey looking items anyway. And so I figured, well, you might as well just shop vintage items. And so for this room, I found everything in this room on Cherish, which if you have never been to Cherish, like you gotta go. 
you gotta go to church. They do have, I believe, some newer made to order items, but you can easily filter it so that it just shows you the vintage ones. And the cool thing about it that's different from shopping, you know, at like a thrift or a secondhand or a vintage or an antique store, which is something I do love to do. But if you have a hard time kind of picking out the treasure from the junk, then Cherish curates everything for you. So they don't just put everything on there. They put things that they feel are cool and unique and special and in good condition. If you love like tons of color and like tons of art on the wall and knickknacks and collectibles everywhere, then you are very likely a maximalist. I found this beautiful vintage rug, found this beautiful vintage blue chair, and then you gotta juxtapose that or complement it maybe with a lush, bright, hot pink pillow. There's this really pretty goldish brass legged uh, side table, uh, a brass tray, and then I thought you could complement that with this beautiful uh, pink glass vase set right on top of the tray. I actually really love these curtains. They remind me of my grandma for some reason. The blue chair that I just showed also reminded me of my grandma, who is no longer with us, but she had, she liked things that were kind of like beautiful and rich and um, sort of glamorous. And I love this giraffe print here. I also really love this um, mirror with this kind of the gold trim with a little bit of the green trim around it as well. If you want to create an intense gallery wall, you obviously will need a lot more items, but I don't think you need to buy all of your artwork and your mirrors and your paintings at once and slap them on the wall. I think you could slowly add things through time. So then that way, um, every piece is really special to you and not just like, pew, done and that's it. And then last I'm gonna do industrial, which actually interestingly, I would still, I would say my own personal style does lean a little bit towards industrial. I kind of was thinking about how industrial, you know, industry, progress, factories, you know, all those things that you think of when you think of industry is not very environmentally friendly. However, my last tip is to shop from sustainable brands. There are actually a ton of sustainable brands out there. I feel that most people just automatically shop at places like Wayfair or here in Canada, you know, we have like home sense and winners. I know in the States people have Target, um, everywhere has Ikea. I do have to admit Ikea does have some cool sustainability initiatives going on. But what I'm trying to get at here is that convenient does not equal eco-friendly usually. Wouldn't it be better to support these really cool smaller brands that are really kind of thinking outside the box and either creating their own pieces such as Burrow or serving as a marketplace for smaller businesses or artisans around the world, such as Maytrade or The Citizenry. So those three places, Borough, The Citizenry, and Maytrade, all came together to create this space, matte black metal things, like pipes and wires and that sort of thing. So first up, we have this beautiful industrial light from Made Trade. I would totally put this in my house. I'm kind of sad that it's not in my house, but I already have all my light fixtures, so that's just how it's gonna be. I've got this rug here from the citizenry, just creates a really nice neutral sort of blank space on the floor for you to build up from. This chaise love seat from Burrow is so cute and Burrow uh, has like huge sectionals all the way down to really small seats. Um, they make them all out of sustainable materials. I think that they're a really cool company, so you should definitely go check them out. And then they have other things, which you will see in a moment. This pillow here is from The Citizenry, which I thought would look really cute on that Burrow couch. Another thing that Burrow has are like tables and side tables. So I've got this um, metal matte black base with the um, darker wood top. From Made Trade here, we have this awesome chair. Another thing from Made Trade here is this really cool leaning shelf. Um, I thought that it would complement that table that I showed you really nicely because it's got the dark wood and then the matte black frame. Another thing that I feel like goes wonderfully is also from Burrow, and that is this really cute little side table with the solid black base. And then even in an industrial space, you have to have a little touch of nature or something like that. So I really love these black vases and I like how this one here is styled with the little branch sticking out of it. You could also put flowers in it, you could put a plant in it, you could put nothing in it because that's a really like, you know, simple and industrial. You could put whatever you want in it because it is your house. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, I would also appreciate it if you would do that. If you have never visited a house in the trees, it would be lovely if you would do so. I also would really appreciate it if you would comment below. What is your home decor style? I'm really interested to know. So let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.